here's the thing. People, there are people, and uh, someone just mentioned this to me again. There are people that say it really doesn't matter who wins. I mean, there are a lot of people who don't like either of them, uh, either Hillary or, or, or Trump, and, uh, and they say it doesn't really matter who wins. And what do you say to that? You know, the way I look at this is this is really about what these people have spent their lives doing. And uh, Hillary Clinton has been out there fighting for children, fighting for women, fighting for human rights, fighting for equality, fighting for health care. That's pretty much what she's dedicated her life to. Trump is a guy who inherited a fortune and spent his life making the fortune bigger a lot of times by just cheating people and chiseling people. And so it's a question of who's going to lead this great country. I'm all in with Hillary Clinton on this. Yeah, well, I, I, I am too. Um, it, it, it feels like uh, she cannot catch a break. It feels like, I mean, to be this close, I mean, there are a lot of, uh, a lot of things that are stacked against her. Being a woman yeah. is number one. Yeah. Um, but the fact that these email things will not go away, and now this new investigation from the FBI, which is unprecedented, that they're, they're doing, what do you make of this? Well, you know, what's been going on here, I mean, we've been talking about this for like a year and a half, and now there's this sort of this new box of emails. This is how I think of it. Yes, yes, I know they're electronic and not really in boxes, but that's how you think of it. And the FBI has said... Gee, there's this box and we don't actually know what's in it, but we wanted to tell you that we're going to take another look. It, it, the idea that they would step in now and say, there's this unknown thing that probably has nothing in it. We've been around this block, like how many times over the yeah. last year and a half? There's this unknown thing. And yet talking about it could actually do real damage to somebody who didn't do something, anything wrong. Yeah. No, I, I can't imagine what I don't she's. Get yeah, I don't. I don't either. And so tomorrow is election day. Yeah. And uh, and I, I, everyone must vote. I, I keep saying that every every day on the show. I've been saying it. Um, and I will personally be glad when this is all over okay. because it's it just divides people. But where will you spend uh, the the evening watching this? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll be at home with with my husband, and I'll be alternating between eating popcorn and eating my fingernails. Uh, well, to see how this comes out, because this year we have so many terrific candidates and we have so many terrific women who are out there doing something really hard. They're challenging a lot of incumbents, a lot of people who have a lot of money, a lot of people who have been at this a long time, but they're really showing women are an important force in the election of 2016, and we're going to make it more important on election day. What, what will it mean, uh, you were just saying how important it is for, for women to have this, and I think it's, I think whenever young girls and young boys um, watching and, and see an example of something, because we usually see the same example over and over of, of men being leaders and men being in power right. positions, and I think it's very important for, for both young women and, and, and boys to, to look at a woman in power, and what would that mean for, to, for us to have a female president? You know, when I was just in my early, early 20s and I had a baby, my first baby's a little girl, and I remember holding her when she's just this tiny little thing and thinking, man, I got to get more involved in this women's movement and get out there and talk about it because I want, I want there to be genuine equality by the time you're in high school, baby. And now I'm a grandmother and I have these two adorable granddaughters and a little grandson, and I look at these two girls and I think, this is your chance in this election to see that, that women stand up for themselves, they fight their own battles, and women can win. I believe that. Well, I hope you're right.